Hi guys, this lesson is on section 5.7, which is describing number patterns. It's going to be a quick, easy one for you guys. Okay, the first thing is sequence. A sequence is a number pattern, or a pattern of numbers, such as 1, 3, 5, 7. That's a sequence, okay? A term is each number in the sequence. So 1 is a term, 3 is a term, 5 is a term, 7 is a term, okay? So sequence is a bit is made up of a bunch of terms in a, in a row, in a, in a pattern, okay? Arithmetic sequence is when you add a fixed number to each number before it, or each term before it. So for example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, you can see I add 2 to each one. That's an arithmetic sequence. As a side note, geometric sequence is when you multiply numbers to get there, but this book doesn't use geometric, it only uses arithmetic. So arithmetic sequence is when you add a fixed number. That fixed number is called a common difference. Okay, whether it's positive or negative, that's the common difference. So in this case, plus 2 or positive 2 is your common difference. Okay, here's another set of numbers, 21, 17, 13, 9, and 5. You can see that you subtract 4 from each term to get the next one. Okay, so in this case, my common difference is negative 4. Okay, so it would be positive 2, or you could write just 2. That's assuming it's positive. Or you have to write negative 4 if it goes down. Okay, so again, your, your common difference is whatever number you add or subtract between each term. Okay, um, here's an example over here. I have, oops, sorry, an arithmetic sequence. Okay, arithmetic sequence has a formula. You do not need to memorize that formula. We give it to you on the test, and you just have to fill it in. Okay, so what it is is a of n is equal to a, which is the first term, plus whatever term you're looking for, minus 1 times the con common difference. Okay, so I know that's kind of hard to um, figure out, but when you see the example, you see it's really easy. So here's my example. Here's my arithmetic sequence. Okay, and I'll underline it for you guys. That's my arithmetic sequence. It'll, the book will say find the fourth and tenth term. So you got to do it twice. So in this case, I would in the fourth term, I would put a of 4 is equal to, and everything's dropped down, but instead of n, I put 4 here. Okay. Now when I solve it, I have to do parentheses first. So it becomes 32 plus 3 times negative 2. And then I need to make sure I do PEMDAS. So I need to do the multiplication, so 32 plus negative 6 or minus 6, and I get 26. So a of, excuse me, of 4 is equal to 26. Again, a common mistake, people try to divide by 4 and get an answer to just get a by itself. This is not a times 4. In function form, this is saying a of 4 or the fourth term of this sequence. So you just stop there, that is your answer. a of 4 is equal to 26. Okay, to find the tenth term, you, we're going to do the same thing, and I'll back up a little so we can keep the other one in, in view. So we're going to do the same thing, but instead of n, I'm going to put 10, because we're looking for the tenth term. Okay, so when we do this, again, parentheses first, so 32 plus 9 times negative 2, and change pen since it's 9, and then I get 32 plus negative 18, which is equal to 14. So a of 10 is equal to 14. What this is saying is the fourth term of this sequence is going to be 26. And the tenth term of the sequence will be 14. So as we're doing numbers, whatever the number is, 1, 2, 3, this fourth term will be 26, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The tenth term is going to be 14. Okay, so if you're just looking for a certain number within that sequence, this, you just put the formula and you stick whatever number they're looking for, whatever term they're looking for in the 4, or if they're looking for the 10th, and you solve it now. So again, this formula will be given on quizzes and tests. You don't have to memorize it at all. In fact, they'll give it to you just like this example here and say, find the 4th term or find the 10th term or the 3rd term, etc. Okay, so pretty simple. Here's your two homework check problems. Should be simple for you. 
Homework check number one, find the common difference of these numbers. Please write these numbers down as your original problem and then tell me what the common difference is. If you would like to abbreviate and say common difference equals, you may. Okay, so common difference equals whatever it comes out to be. Okay, homework check number two, find the sixth term in this formula, in this arithmetic sequence. Okay, again, the sixth term. Please write the formula down. Show the work just like I did over here. Okay, and please input them into Edmodo now before you leave so that it's in, in the score. Okay, take care.